So today I thought it'd be really fun to play a game. It is day four of Galliathon. We have been very much on the net galley trail when it comes to my videos. I guess plots of arc books. I've done a net galley haul, I've done a net galley tag. So today I thought I'd do something a bit different and play a game of bookish buzzwords. I, I don't think this is anything original. I think a lot of people have done something similar. Um, so not trying to take any sort of credit but I did come up with the idea and I haven't taken it from anywhere so there isn't really anyone I can give credit to but I'm going to be playing today with Celeste from the world of reading and it's going to be a lot of fun she's picking three books I am picking three books it's going to be very stressful because I have a feeling that it's going to be really difficult because we have very different reading tastes but it will be fun and if you stick around to the end of the video, I will be then giving you five bookish buzzwords. And then at the end, you are supposed to. And then what you need to do is comment down below with the answers to what books I am describing using these buzzwords. And for every one you get right, you will get an additional entry into our giveaway, which is happening, I think, at some point near the end of the week. I have no idea. I really don't. I'm just relying on it. But check out our Twitter because all information on giveaways will happen there. So I'm going to go straight to the game and play with Celeste. I imagine it will be a bit of a hot mess. I'm excited to play. Welcome to Bookish Buzzwords. This is something I think exists, but I just made it up for the purpose of Galliathon Week. So thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm excited to join you. Good, good. Okay, so the rules of the game is we each give each other three words connecting to a book and the other person has to guess. So you're my guess. Would you like to go first? Um, okay. So my first word is time travel. My second is romance. My third is highlands. Uh. Oh. Do you know if I own this book? No. But I think if you watched my videos, you should definitely know this one. Okay, no pressure on me. <laughs> Which videos in particular? Uh, my faves. Okay. And I, I don't know. watch that, I... so that's annoying. <laughs> and I, I think I mentioned it in some of my vlogs too. It's annoying because I, I, I remember watching them. I remember, I actually remember <laughs> you talking about them, but I don't think I've read it, which means that I'm going to struggle remembering the plot because if I don't read it i'm just like eh, i don't really want to know too much just in case i fancy reading it so i tend to forget everything uh first of all i don't think it's a book you'll ever read excellent that's so that's a good start um so it's a book can you have the words again time travel yeah romance hmm. and highlands Highlands. That's that's the one that's sticking me. Uh, yes. I don't know if it's set in the Highlands because, like I said, I've never read it, but it is on my shelf. I'm thinking Time Traveler's Wife. No. No, right. I, I've never read it, so I don't know if that was set in the Highlands or not. Um, I, I haven't read it either. You get one shot, and one is, it starts after World War II. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, what's it called? Is it the name of a TV show as well? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to read it, but I know what it is. It's... Is it Outlander? Yes, it's Outlander. Yes. That was the most stressful experience of my life. <laughs> it's one of my, it's my 
ultimate favorite book of all time. So yeah. I thought I should do this. I remember it now. I remember watching the videos. I've remembered hearing you mention it. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I saw that show on TV and I didn't really fancy it. So I'm just not going to it. Clearly that matters. But this is going to be funny because we both read very different genres. So like... <laughs> um, I'm going to say... I don't think it is technically true, but I'm going to say time travel like you did. Murder. And I don't want to say, I don't want to say any of the words from the title of the book. So time travel, murder, balcony, I think. Balcony. Yeah. If I'm thinking it right. What? Time travel and murder. I can give you a hint and tell you I know it's a book you own because I double checked and just watched your recent video and saw it on your shelf. And I was like, I'm doing that one. What? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not home. I can't look. Oh no. Fuck, I'm forgetting my shelves totally right think- now. Time travel might be cutting it a bit fine because they don't technically time travel. I'm going to give you a bit of a hint, which I think is cheating in this game, but I will give you a hint. It's not necessarily time travel. It's more repeating the same day. Oh, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Nee, no, yeah, no. no. The no. seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. That's the one. That is the one. I hate this dead book. <laughs> Well, I've never read it, and I keep getting excited to read it, and then every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to start that soon. Someone always says, I hate that. Okay. Um, nuns. Who? Orphans. What? What was the first one? Nuns. Nuns? Oh, jeez. Okay. An assassin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you have to combine them, like literally combine them. I feel like I've heard of this book. But I also feel like I've not heard of it because the word I'm thinking, the book I'm thinking of has the word assassin in the title. And I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm like, no. it'd be a bit too much of a giveaway that. Is this, is this a fantasy book? Yes. Definitely oh. 100%. Fantastic. Like, I also, I think I also thought talked about this in my faith so well clearly that did not work out well for the last book (laughs) no I know um (laughs) it's a fantasy book I don't know why I'm looking at my shelf I know I don't own it one hint this author just published an author book in a series oh great (laughs) Um... I can't say more Literally. So it's more of an adult fantasy. I highly doubt it's Tolkien, because I think he's dead. <laughs> so I don't think there'll be any Lord of the Rings. Uh, don't think George R. R. Martin's got another Game of Thrones book out yet. And also, I'm fairly sure no, there's, no, there's, there's no orphans, assassins, and nuns in that. Actually, I think all of them are in there, but I don't think they're the main plot. (laughs) No. Orphans, nuns, and assassins. They are combined. They're... One person is all. Jesus. Right. Yeah. That's the weirdest episode of Songs of Praise. (laughs) Uh... I don't, I don't want to give up just because I'm very competitive and I don't want you to win. Um, <laughs> but I have absolutely no idea about fantasy. I've been nice with mine. I think I'm going to have to forfeit this one, which is really sad. I'm so annoyed with myself. <laughs> Should I say it? Uh, yeah. Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Never <laughs> you... it. No? No. I I'm would so never sorry. Yeah. Next one. 
I did have one in mind, but I think I'm changing it just because you was mean to me. Nanny, ghosts, murder. Nanny, ghosts, and murder. I was with nanny. I was like, no. Um, oh, oh, um, is it like, oh my God. I'm, like that she she's in prison because everyone thinks she murdered a child mm -hmm. but i don't know the name yeah. oh i just did a big review about it about how much i disliked it so no pressure to you but if you watch my videos yeah my, i don't watch <laughs> reviews so like oh that's offensive <laughs> <laughs> i don't i just don't it's the only kind of videos that I watch. I don't know, but I think it is a retelling of a popular book that I just realised I can't tell you the name of because it's a very similar name to an older book. It's a retelling? I think it is. And it's got the oh same God. name. It's, oh. it's the same name, except the very last word has changed. Is it... Oh, that's so bad. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, retelling. Retelling, retelling, retelling. Oh, no. I, I don't want to give up, but I'm blanking on it. I give up. I don't know. I just don't know. I give up. The turn of the key. I was thinking about it. I was. <laughs> you tried. The, the, the retelling is turn of the screw, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I was thinking about that book. I just couldn't come up with the name. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm going to be mean again, but I'm not sure. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Okay. LGBTQIA plus. Well, right, all right. All boys school and straight. <laughs> LGBTQ <laughs> but straight. Yes. Oh, that gave me a headache. All boys school. Okay. Well, I, don't, I, I know I've not read it because I've not read a book with an all boys school. I'm thinking of two. I don't think it's that one, so I'm going to ignore that. You don't know what that one is. Um, I've never read it, and I feel like if I re, if I say it, and it's a, if, is it a very well known book? No. Damn it! So it's definitely not the one I was thinking of. Because like, I've never I've never read it, so I was potentially thinking of the Raven Boys, but then I thought main plot of that story is a straight relationship, so it's not. No, that. thank you. I just thought it because the Raven Boys, there's a good chance there was at an all boys school, so I literally chose that for the fact it was probably an all boys school, um, but I didn't think it was that one. And then I thought Heartstopper, but everyone knows and loves that book, so it's definitely not going to be that one. Like, this author and his books just need more love because they're amazing and, frankly, no one talks about them. I'd like a hint. <laughs> like, one of the words are in a title. So straight in the title? So what books have the word straight in it? Literally, you just have to find one more word. One more. Oh, God. Not. Oh, my God. <laughs> the bell is going here. And my dog is screaming. That was terrifying. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. Just one more word. Let's go through every word in the dictionary. I don't care if I'm here for hours. Uh, almost straight. No. Straight the second. Like, 
What did she say? You're straight the second word. Yes. Like. I'm trying to think of an LGBTQ book and trying to think of a title with the word straight. So almost or nearly or not seem appropriate. Like, I gave you half the title, so, like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> um... Like, the wor first word ends with L-Y. So, Lee. Unfortunately. No, but you're getting close with the first letter. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> um, Is it even a word? If it's a word. If it's not a word, how am I meant to get it? <laughs> I think oh, it's Jesus, a word. Oh my like, god. Oh my god, okay. It's the exact name of the title. So like, if it's not a word, it's just like... I didn't it's know that. I feel like I definitely knew that. Uh, I just want to point out, in my aggression of trying to figure out the name of this title, I have just broke my chair. So I'm balancing off my wall right now. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't. The chair was broken anyway. I've just added fuel to the fire. But at some point in this video, there is a good chance I'm just going to go down like the Titanic. Yeah. Open, openly, is that it, is that what it is, openly straight? Yes. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> okay, final book. Um, <laughs> fantasy, demons, ginger. Ginger? Yeah. Okay. If you've read the book, it's really easy. Adult or young adult? YA. YA, okay. YA with ginger. Mm -hmm. Nah. What was the second word? Demons. Demons. Um, demons, demons, demons. Oh my god. Why did I do this game? I'm so bad at names. Um, I don't know. I fantasy, that's really broad. I know it is, but it's a it's a YA fantasy, which I've just told you. About demons and Is it popular? Something it's who? Is it popular? It is popular. It's not necessarily liked, but it's popular. Like it's not necessarily liked. It is a series like, we both own. I own that series. I think you do. I'm sure I've seen it on your shelf. I thought I'd narrow it down when I told you it's a fantasy I own. I don't know your bookshelves. Are they like in, in video? Oh, what? They're in videos. Okay. They have dedicated videos to them. What? I have dedicated videos to these books. Like, it's not the Hunger Games. No. Ah! Oh! Of course! Cassandra Clear. Um, what's the first one? City of... Like, it's not Ashes. It's not the first one. City of... Glass? That's no. the third one. It's the third one. Um, City of Bones. Second one. Or no, it's the first one? City of Bones is the first one. City of Bones. Of course. 
Is it? Is the one? Yes. Yeah. Did they get I it? Mean, to be fair, it was any of them. Any of them. But it was very funny to see you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's a little bit of range. Okay. Um. So. I didn't guess one of yours, which gave you an extra point. You've guessed all of mine, so. I didn't guess all oh. of yours. Did you not? No, the second one. Oh, the second one, yeah. Oh, we're even. Yay. Even. Yay. Oh, we drew. Oh, that was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? But <laughs> yay. That was fun. Maybe you'll just have to come back for round two eventually. Oh, yes, definitely. Great. Well, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And for everyone at home, stick around because I will be doing five more after this for entries to the giveaway. So make sure you stick around. Thanks a lot for joining me. I will link all of your vid videos and channels and things down below so everyone will go and subscribe to you because I told them to. Thank you. I'm glad you had me in this video. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. So I will see you later on. Thank you for joining me. See you later. Bye. So now it is over to you. I am going to be giving you five books using three bookish buzzwords each and you have to guess what books I'm describing. Remember for every one that you get right you will get an entry into the giveaway so please make sure you comment. If you don't know take a guess it is always worth it. So the very first one I'm going to give you probably starting out with a bit of an easy one. I'm going to say horror, retelling, Scooby. Number two, clown, kids, horror. Number three, wedding, island, murder. Number four, orphan, London, bullseye. And the final one is romance, high school, fake dating. I know they weren't technically one word, but it counts. And those are the five. So remember, comment down below. And other than that, make sure you are subscribed, give this a thumbs up, and check out tomorrow's video when it arrives. And if you haven't already, check out the other day's videos, because I've been posting all week. You should have been watching all of them. But if you are involved in Galliathon, thank you so much for joining in. I really appreciate it. Brooke really appreciates it. So make sure you're following us on Twitter. We're doing sprints throughout the day. We're giving daily challenges, which can give you additional entries into the giveaway. So do as much as you can. Get those ARC books read. And honestly, share your success. We want to know how well you're doing. So thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And join us on Twitter.